Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to try to fix this automatic salt shaker thing. Uh, quit working the other night. The light comes on, but the motor won't. So, so let's see if we can uh, figure out what's wrong with this thing. Okay, so like I said, the light will come on and the motor should be running right now and it doesn't. We put new batteries in it to see if that would do anything and it didn't do anything. So, I don't know how these come apart or if they're supposed to come apart, which I doubt it, but... couple of little screws down here at the bottom but the motor is not turning so there's a couple of screws up here at the top and I see where the lights are there let's go ahead let's take these two little screws out let me get a screwdriver then if we have to, we'll take the bottom off. See if we can fix this thing. So I'm going to use my little uh, 62 and one precise electronic screwdriver. So I did a review on this. A company sent that to me. I didn't buy this. But uh, you've, if you follow my channel, then you've seen I've used this many, many times. Got a little light on it. forward and backwards all right let's see it's a little one looks like that one there so let's try to I don't know how well I can zoom you guys in without getting in your way That's a magnetic strip. It will hold your metal screws for you. You need to get one of them blue mats. Okay. This is what adjusts how fine or coarse you want your salt or pepper. We have not Another one over there, it's got pepper in it. It's a spring. Looks like it may have gotten moisture in there. But... Okay, so let's, yeah, I know, I should take the batteries out, but there's a reason I'm leaving them in, because if this thing starts working, I want to know about it. So. Man, I can't see what size screws them are. kind of weird um, I don't think I don't think they're Phillips something really weird Well, they look like a Phillips. 
Let's go with another size bigger. Okay. Just had too small. It was too small. There we go. The <laughs> thing about it is that little switch, I keep hitting it all the time. Okay, I see some salt up in here. There's the motor right underneath this thing. I see a screw down in here. I didn't think that thing would take that out, but it did it. magnetic in there because of the, the motor. So, yeah, I've never had one of these apart, so I'm not sure how they come apart. Another one down in here. Yep. And then we should be able to... Besides, I want to see how that switch works. You know what I mean? Okay, there's a bunch of gears. There's a little bit of lube there with salt on it. Now mind you though, she did put regular salt in this thing. Yeah, I can't turn that motor. There it is. So how's it turn on? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this gear, these gears out of here. I'm going to clean this out real good. Man, you'd think they would have made it a little better to where that salt's not going to get in there like that. That's horrible. Still not sure how turning it upside down kicks it on, but. Okay, let me get this all cleaned up. I may take it outside and blow it out. But my guess would be that'd be the. You know what, real quick, let's. I don't know if I can. Yeah, monkey said maybe moisture. And I'm like, well, it shouldn't have moisture. kind of does with all that oil they got in there. Yeah, see? Now, the lights don't come on. What am I missing here? 
Okay, there's a the light starting to come on. The lights are on. I don't hear the motor running. All right, guys, let me get this cleaned out. There's why. We got a solder a wire here. That's why the motor is not working. Let me get it cleaned out first. I'm gonna take it outside, blow it out real good. Get it cleaned up, and then we'll solder that wire on. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here we go. See if I can do this with this thing. Oh, I just soldered the hole closed. Man, I can't see. Yeah, that's what I did. I soldered that hole closed. I know you guys can't see them, sorry, but... Yeah, I need to get me a microscope. They're a little on the expensive side, but... Man, just once, like right now. Because then you can record what you're doing. You guys would be able to see it better. Instead of having to take my word for it. That. <clears throat> Let's put a piece on that ground wire there. Or a little drop, I mean. And I just unsoldered it. You ever get the feeling? Should have left well enough alone. <laughs> Man, they didn't really. There wasn't much solder on these things. Only what I put on, really. I soldered that hole closed too. I'm gonna have to get my tweezers out. That's in there now. There we go. All right, so there's that. Now. Oh man, I just had this all cleaned up and look what I did. I set it down in all that salt. Alright, let me go blow it out again just to make sure. Okay, let's try to get this back together. Shoot, I've got a whole bunch of parts over here. Got them all cleaned up. I may have to take them in and blow them dry. But I'm afraid if I do that, I'll blow them right out of my hand and launch them across the shop. You know what I mean? And I don't want to do that with these little tiny gears. Hopefully you guys seen how these gears came out of here because I really wasn't paying attention. I know those three went on this. Still, I looked all over. I, I, I'm not sure how that switch goes or how that turns on or anything, but... It works somehow by turning it upside down. Now, as I know, I know these three went on here. There is a little gear right there. 
Alright, I may have to shut you off and see how I took this thing apart. Now that's got to go like this, right? No. There's nothing to hold that gear centered. So this goes down in here. Like that. goes in them two little screw holes. Yeah. Alright, yeah. So that must be how they go. Alright. Let me study this again. This goes out the top, I do know that. So this has to go like this. This definitely goes out the top. That's where this screws on to. I don't know, this must be some kind of bushing here. up here at the top yeah okay yeah that's a bushing I do believe so I think it went like this I still don't know how this turns this well I hate to say it but I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to roll this video back. Because this is not making sense. Oh, that has to go down in there. I see. Maybe I won't have shut you off. That, that little gear's got to go in the center of that, of those ones. Damn, I'm so close. Because what else would turn? Wait, there's another little gear there. Yeah, I'm right. This center gear. goes down in the center of that of those three gears like that and the same way with this and then it's all got to drop down into here okay see like that and this one has set down in the center of these three like that now this has to sit down in here like that as soon as I get it lined up I don't know if they're all supposed to be like the same way or if they're supposed to be different I don't know because they turn so it shouldn't matter and then these will correspond with that thing that turns all these gears there's that and this goes like that right and this, I think is a bushing. 
Oh no. I thought this was on top. Yeah, it was. Okay. This went down in there. Well, I got this upside down. It goes like this. Right. Like that. Or does it go like this? It has to go like this, right? I don't remember taking it off that way. Let's go like that. There we go. Ah. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Those other two screws way down in there. Third one's still in there. I better get a bigger screwdriver here. Third one never came out, so that's good. And they don't stick, so. I'm not sure what material they are. They're not sticking to this magnetic thing, which kind of blows because I got to get these way down in there. So, tweezers out here. I do that every time. <sighs> but you know, they were sticking to that magnet on the motor. Okay? Aren't they? Or is it? I'm sticking to the magnet on the motor. Okay, so let's magnetize my thing. There we go. Just had to magnetize it. Ah. Dang it. And I got them both out. Great. If you want to magnetize a little screwdriver, if you have a magnet around, just take the magnet run over it. Or you can hit it with a hammer a couple times. That will also magnetize it. Wrong screw. problem is it's a real sturdy magnet in that motor and it's pulling it off off my bit and over to it see
All right, guys, this is brutal. Hang on, let me get this down in there so you guys don't have to watch me fiddle fart around with this thing. All right, I got that part back together. So all we got left is the bottom, but I wanna put the batteries in. See if this thing works. I don't know if it needs salt in it to turn something on or what, because I still quite haven't figured that out. Didn't really see a switch. Might need salt. Well, the light's coming on. Motor's still not turning. All right, I'll kick you back on. I'm gonna take that back apart again. Okay, so we got a contact problem there. And this little black thing, that's the switch. When you turn that upside down, it makes contact, and when you flip it up, it doesn't make contact. So I'm gonna get this wire soldered back on here, if I can, and then we'll see if it works. All right guys, I think I got it. That's, look, that's cool, that little switch in there. All right, I'm gonna put this back together before I lose a bunch more stuff. I lost one screw, I got it back. I lost this spring, I got it back. Can't believe that. She had another set of these and she just sold them uh, today or day before yesterday or anyway. She just sold them and I was like, man, I could have used that, but right, I'm gonna blow this out some more. I'm gonna put this on, take a battery out first. I'm gonna put that bottom on there. I'm gonna go blow this off. And then we'll we'll put it back together together. Uh, as in you and I. <laughs> yeah, they don't make these very tight because you know, salt, right there's the end of the motor. And the salt has to go through this hole right here. So it's not very, you know. And we all know what salt does to metal and copper and aluminum. Yeah. Yeah, it really, uh, really eats it up. My thing got demagnetized. And I had everything right because I, as you can see, I had this one out. Took that one apart to make sure I, sorry guys, to make sure I had everything right. And I did. So. But. I have to take this piece back off. Wait, these things are tiny. Also had to get this out, Monkey's little magnifying thing. It helped. goes down on oh no oh man it scared me there for a minute guys this goes down on and our little nut thing yeah how that works is See all that room in there? Depending on how coarse and fine you want your salt. Like that would make it real fine the tighter you go. The looser you go makes it less coarse. Alright. Now I'm going to put a battery in here. And put this back together and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, here we go. See how fine that is? 
Now if I loosen this up, it'll be a lot coarser. See the difference? See that difference? Now I'll tighten, or tighten it up there a little bit. Now you can see how fine it is. All right, now let's put the batteries back in the pepper. Well, I took the batteries out of the pepper to put in the salt to see if that was a problem. Of course, that wasn't it. So, whoops. Man, I just knocked you guys out. I know it had to be foreshadowing because when she first got this, she had one battery turned upside down. And it wouldn't work. <coughs> and I thought, oh man. There we go. <laughs> right on. Alright. Loosen that up a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Whoa. Alright guys, I gotta pick up my mess. It's 10 minutes to 1 a.m. So it's actually Friday morning. But I wanted to do something and... Well, I did it. I didn't think I was gonna get it fixed. Because usually those little tiny wires like that. Cause I mean... Sorry. I mean, them things are small. Really, really tiny. Alright guys, I'm going to clean up, wash my hands, get ready for bed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend, everyone. Uh, also, if I can get a video up for you this weekend. And, uh, hope everyone stays safe. So, that being said, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks for supporting my channel. I really appreciate that, too. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, and take care, everyone.